Hey everyone, today I'm going to be making black plasma. Plasma is some of the brightest light that we can observe. In fact, the sun itself is a plasma. But I wanted to actually make a plasma that actually absorbs more light than it emits, and it appears dark black. To explain how the black plasma is going to work, let me go back to when I made black fire. In that experiment, I had an alcohol fire in which I dissolved sodium chloride in water and then dropped that around the alcohol fire. When you heat up the water that contains sodium chloride, little droplets of water form, and those droplets of water heat up and evaporate until it's just a sodium chloride crystal there. And in some places, that can heat up strong enough so that the sodium chloride actually becomes ionized. And then eventually that sodium ion and electron will recombine. And once they've recombined, now it's just a pure sodium atom. So basically what I've done by putting salt in the fire is I've made sodium vapor in the fire. Now this is the important part. Once you've created those sodium vapor atoms, if you shine a very specific frequency of light on them, you can get the electrons in the sodium atoms to jump from the 3s orbital to the 3p orbital. And when they do that, it actually absorbs that specific photon of light. And that photon of light has to be at 589 nanometers. So that means if you can shine 589 nanometer light on this fire that has sodium vapor in it, it will appear dark because it's absorbing that light. So how do you get 589 nanometer light? You just use a sodium vapor lamp. So I'm going to be using a low pressure sodium vapor lamp to give off a specific monochromatic light source at exactly 589 nanometers. And so what that means is that lamp will make the fire appear dark because it's absorbing the light that the lamp is giving off. The black fire experiment was pretty cool and it still remains one of my favorite experiments that I've ever done. But I wanted to take it a step further and actually make it a darker, richer black. So in order to do that, I actually just need more sodium vapor. So I'm going to be creating a sodium plasma by using an ultra high frequency Tesla coil. This Tesla coil is alternating at 15 million hertz so it can generate a stream of plasma above it. And all I'm going to do is dip a screw in sodium hydroxide so it has sodium hydroxide crystals on it and then hold it over the plasma. And what it will do is it will ionize that sodium hydroxide, but when those ionized atoms come back together with their electrons, they emit light and that's the bright orange light you see. But once they come back together, now we have a bunch of sodium atoms that can absorb light from the sodium vapor lamp. And the result of all this is a bright plasma in the center with a dark black above it. This black plasma may appear like smoke, but it's actually not smoke. If I flip on the regular lights, you can see that it's not visible at all. So this is not smoke. You can see that it's only light coming off of it. There's no darkness whatsoever. But then turn on the sodium vapor lamp and you can see the black plasma. What I can do is I can even put some sodium hydroxide on the tip of the Tesla coil and you can actually make the outer edges of the whole flame appear black. Now 
Wow. Okay, black plasma melting steel. Look at this, completely molten. Sodium metal dripped down the side of it and short circuited it all. Luckily, I have a backup. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And you can also hit the bell so that you can be notified when I release my latest video. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.